could mean our ethnicity, our culture, our life experiences, and for some of us, multiple places we've lived. Me, for instance, whenever I'm asked that question, I struggle with how to respond as I was born abroad, lived in two different states, and my family moved to a third state just last month. On top of that, I was a transfer student to Cornell. As you can see, there are a lot of ways to answer the question, where are you from? I'm sure some of you can relate. Another way to phrase that question is, what is home to you? And this answer might also vary. The word home for me has an entirely different connotation than where I'm from. Rather than a geographical location, a home is a familiar place or a person where I, where I feel love, self-worth, and a sense of belonging. I think it's possible to have more than one home, and Cornell is one of mine. My hope is that at Cornell, you'll come to feel that even though you moved to campus from home, it doesn't mean you moved away from home. It simply means you haven't built a new home here yet. At this point in your life, you might begin to feel that the answer to the question, what is home to you, has a complicated answer. But that's okay. That's a good thing that could take some time to figure out. So for the new students out there, I'm going to share three important tips on how to successfully thrive at Cornell through an analogy of building a new home. Step one, incorporate. In order to build a strong foundation, you'll need to gather all of your materials and support systems together. How you want to create a solid base is entirely up to you. Maybe your secure reinforcements consist of family, friends, school supplies, or ramen noodles. You'll need enough resources to fill the gaps. Yet even if you've incorporated your resources and sturdy networks, college experiences and academic rigor will come barging at the door. Your home will be tested and stretched, but that's life. Much like this campus, your home will often be under construction. And that's fine, you'll work it out. The next step is to associate. Imagine this, your home needs major repairs or you have concerns about your neighbors. What do you do? Join a homeowner's association. Connections are crucial and I encourage you to reach out to any and all members of the Cornell family. Friends, faculty, staff, coaches, teammates, club members, or others for anything. We are here for each other and will certainly help you find your way. When I first transferred to Cornell, once I started to branch out and join student organizations, I began to feel that I belonged here, and Cornell became home. For instance, after orientation, I connected with other transfer students. A few weeks later, I joined the Cornell Running Club, where I met and made friends with passions and interests similar to mine. Although this is a large campus, by getting involved, you too can create smaller shared spaces of belonging, your Cornell Association. Finally, the last step in building your home is to decorate. Upkeep is so important. During your time at Cornell, your home's character may undergo more development. What do you want it to look like? With time, that may change. Your home 
is a personal place. And as the designer and owner, it will be up to you. It will be what you make of it. Of course, your home, a place of peace and comfort, or noise and excitement, should be livable for you. Part of the maintenance work is staying healthy and having fun, however you choose to define that. Making time to relieve stress and finding ways to recharge your battery are key to overall happiness. Whatever it is you love, exercising, playing a sport, listening to or playing music, art, music, hanging out with friends, or meditation, it's worth pursuing. That's how you dress up your new home to truly make it yours. Things will get busy in the next few days. Don't rush. You don't have to finish your construction all at once. But I hope you keep an eye out for the people, resources, and embellishments that will help you start building your home at Cornell. Remember to incorporate information and support systems in your foundation. Associate with your friendly Cornell neighbors and decorate the special place you call home. Good luck to you all. Thank you.